Betty, how do you know it's an orgasm? Oh, have I been getting that question lately? A lot. <laughs> I know, one after another. And it, it goes from 20s to, well, I had a client that was 70. 70. And did it know, am I have? is this an orgasm? They don't know what it is. Like, what, what it's supposed well, to be. They, they're not sure, uh, are, am I having them? Uh, is this what it feels like? What does it feel like? So what does an orgasm feel like? Tell us, Dr. Dotson. Oh, darling, they're all so different. And each woman, I think, experiences them differently. One of the things I say in my book, Orgasms for Two, my favorite, is that my orgasms have ranged from a slight little hiccup to a profound experience. Yes, yes. And this is this and is, everything in between. This, yeah, this is a, a scale. It's they're not, and it's never the same. Never quite the same. But do no. you really want it to be the same? I kind of like that. Well, it's fabulous that it's always different. It sneaks up on you. Sometimes, and sometimes you have to work for it, yes. and sometimes you think it's coming, and then it disappears. I mean, how many times have I started my climb? I'm going to climb. Ooh, it's getting better. It's getting better. And all of a sudden, uh, it levels off. So what happened? The, the, what were, was that? The beast. That is the nature of the beast. <laughs> it's, it, you'll be building, and you'll level off, and sometimes you'll dip down, and then you'll start to bring it back up again. And it's, it isn't a straight... See, men have more of a straight line. And we kind of mimic. Shunk. Yeah. And we keep using the male model for the female experience. It's so different. It's so different. It's like everything else with men and women. It's so like different. Like everything else. Yes, we're having a man problem day. <laughs> today. Not all men, but today a lot of the men I would life, say I today, them all. all of them. <laughs> 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 I'm ready to go to, like, Andromeda with all the other women. <laughs> Is there a place like that? Well, in Wonder Woman there was. Wasn't it Andromeda? And they all went there, and they were all, like, really hot in Amazons, and they wore, like, these see-through little dresses and ran around. Like, I only looked at the pictures. Grapes and... You could read. I, I just looked at the pictures. <laughs> Here are some of the things that are wrong. Many of the young women today think that, that if they have an orgasm, they will ejaculate. Like a guy. No. Very few. Very few. And you can ejaculate without having an orgasm. That's the other problem. Okay? So the next thing is that if I come, uh, I'll have, you know, I'll nearly pass out. And the fireworks will happen and I'll cross a bridge. My and... client actually <laughs> said, where, where are the fireworks? fireworks? <laughs> oh, no. Sometimes they're there. But sometimes no, they're just a couple no. of bottle rockets. I mean, it's not <laughs> no, we shouldn't ever paint the image that no. there are fireworks. It just can feel really, 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 really good. Don't go any further than that. No fireworks. And this thing of passing out and, and going to sleep right afterwards, which is what guys do. Sometimes. Yeah, but that's that's when that's so women can get away. I think that was a biological thing back in the days of the cave. The man would pass asleep. out, and it was like, you could get it, get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> no, no, no. Just remember, they say if you've had an orgasm, you'll know you've had it. Wrong. I have had clients for the last yes. two years that do not, cannot recognize an orgasm. They're having them, and they can't recognize it. So we have to, I know what. Go online and watch some of our people having orgasms. Real orgasms. Yeah. To see what they're like. Yeah. And, and, and then once you, it's like a dance step. Set yourself free.